everyone. It's um, when I used to go to football matches, one of the things I like to do is to arrive fairly early to get the pre-match build-up. It's been very interesting to have the pre-service build-up with all of you talking beforehand. A very warm welcome to everyone who is, uh, is in the live stream, whether you are in, uh, uh, on YouTube or whether you are through the, the Sandiford link. Whether you're a regular congregation, a uh, regular visitor, or whether, uh, in this instance, virtually you are here for the first time, a very warm welcome to you. Uh, Noel Peacock here, uh, session clerk, I'll be leading the service. Uh, we, this morning we, we re pre-recorded everything and then streamed it. And, but one of, one of you said, it'd be nice to have a picture of those who were leading and the person giving the sermon. Well, we've uh, tried to do this. Um, you'll regret it, whoever it was, when you see me. But uh, we'll, um, we'll, we'll cope with what that. There's a nice picture of Bill Dunlop, so that's something to look forward to. On a serious note, I'm delighted to welcome uh, to our virtual link, Bill Dunlop. He was a very good friend of the congregation, former member, and who'll be preaching this evening at the first of a series of four sermons on the attributes of God. The media have sometimes misrepresented what is happening with regard to services. I can quote from one of the national newspapers which said this week, religious gatherings and services are being suspended across the country as faith communities work to comply with new restrictions to try to control the spread of coronavirus. Yes, gathering certainly. Sandiford is complying by closing the building, but we are continuing to give access to services online so that everyone can join in from home or wherever you are. I don't know whether you are all able to hear this and everything is okay. Can you wave if, if you are able to hear? Oh, that's very good. That's very reassuring. It's a steep learning curve, but the God who was with us when we met together last Sunday in person is the same God who is with us now this evening through the live link. As we begin our service, let's remind ourselves of the words of the Apostle Paul to the Romans in chapter 8, verses 26 to 28. In the same way, the Spirit helps us in our weakness. We do not know what we ought to pray for, but the Spirit himself intercedes for us through wordless groans. And he who searches our hearts knows the mind of the Spirit, because the Spirit intercedes for God's people in accordance with the will of God. And we know that in all things, God works for good for those who love him, who've been called according to his purpose. It's good at such times to remind ourselves of just the extent to which God loves us, how much he values us and loves us. With so many feeling anxiety and fear as the pandemic feeds into the very core of our psyche, let's join together in worshipping God, asking the help of his Holy Spirit to lead us and prompt us as we sing together, Praise my soul, the King of heaven, which is based on Psalm 103, which, as most of you know, begins with thanks for particular blessings, and then widens out to consider the character of God and invites the whole of creation to join in ascribing to God his true worth. 